Minister of Youth Development and National Service Foster Cummings said the ministry tries to cater to the education and training needs of the young people of Trinidad and Tobago. We keep looking at what young people want to be involved in, how can we attract them to get involved in up, upskilling themselves and getting involved on a career path. And therefore, this education and a career caravan moves from community to community, expressing to the young people what the programs of the government are in terms of training and development so that they can get involved, they can register on the spot and be able to move towards a productive career. He gave an estimated breakdown of how many young people the ministry is able to reach through the caravan in various communities. We touch at least 1,500 to 2,000 persons. And on the high end, 2,000. On the low end, about 1,200. And that tells us that this is a very effective mechanism of touching our young people. So we use social media, we use traditional media, but when we actually come into the community, they get an opportunity to come and get it first time. Minister of Education and MP for St. Anne's East, Dr. Nian Gansby Dolly, said getting the information to the young people is critical. She added that the progress of those who are referred to MILAT or CCC is tracked by the National Training Agency. And they are at this point working and formulating a program to do student tracking, which is, of course, extremely important for not just the Ministry of Education, but for the entire nation to understand where our students are, um, the investment we are making on our students, what happens to them in a few years. So we are very excited about this project with the NTA. The education caravan also featured an entrepreneurship village, career fair, health services and entertainment. Mahalia Joseph Wharton, TTT News.